Hello, it is Tuesday the 31st of March 2020 and I do believe it is day 8 of the UK lockdown. Something actually a bit varied and interesting happened. What could it be? Look, the first of Hissy's birthday parcels arrived from Amazon. I've put it up there. It's in quarantine for three days. <laughs> Izzy's birthday's not for quite a while actually. She's got quite a few weeks, but we were panicking a bit about delivery times at the moment, so we got in early, ordering some bits and bobs for her. It's coffee o'clock already. What time is it? Half past 12. We had a really late start again. We're just getting loads of sleep at the moment. Got nothing to get out for, so just getting up when we want. Something else just came through the door. I don't know what that was. Let's see. Ah, Musicians Union. I know, I can make a quarantine tray for the post and then not touch it for three days and hopefully any virus will be dead on it. Oh, I know. Let's get out of cloth for wiping up the wet when the condensation forms. Put it out of Izzy's reach somewhere in case she gets curious. There we are. I'm sure you can guess what I'm doing next, can't you? Oh, that's right, I'm marking maths. And it's not the first load I've done today that I've already marked yesterday's this morning, plus printed off the next few days worth of worksheets for her as well. This one's the end of a subtopic, so I'll be pleased to highlight something through on the planner sheet when this is done. Right, and maybe sometime. This is the problem when you're going as near to daily as you can, you sort of do the same things every day. Here we are. Oh, she's got the first one right. Yay. And the second. I'm pleased to see she's finally consistently showing her workings. If you show your workings and you get the final answer wrong, but you show throughout your process that you were taking the right steps, you can still get some of the marks for that question. So always show your workings on a maths exam paper. My coffee's boiling. I can hear it. I've got so much washing up to do. You would think in the lockdown I'd have loads of time to wash up, wouldn't you? But I am just one of those busy characters that will always make myself busy. Even when I've got nothing to do, I'll still be trying to cram loads of stuff in and end up not achieving everything, like washing up. Silly me. Well, I was playing post the most with Izzy last night. The Orchard Games. I mean, it's a really good game. I'm just so bad at board games because my mind switches off. I start thinking about other things and then I don't even know what's going on and I start moving the counters the wrong way. I just find them really hard to engage with. I used to love them when I was little. I don't know what happened to me. I can cope with Ludo and I think I'll be able to cope with Scrabble and Upwards. So maybe we'll try those next. I can't do post the most anymore. I've definitely outgrown it. <laughs> I'm distracted, I'm going to get back to me marking. 43 out of 45. 95.5%. Oh yeah. Some topics are a lot harder than others. And I'm presuming this one is not too hard because she's doing a lot better in this one than some of the other ones. So, really good. Area it is. Is he's always like geometry actually? Well, I say like it's a, it's a relative term, of course. As maths goes, geometry has always been one of the lessers of the evils. Really, I can now highlight through that subtopic. I love highlighting through stuff when it is completed. Makes me feel like we're really progressing. Three more area and volume topics to do. Now this should have taken us up to half term. <laughs> But I think it's not even going to take us up to Easter, do you know? This is how behind we are with the maths syllabus, unfortunately. But she's actually almost finished her English, so it's kind of all over the place. She's just done another two. I went up to show her how well she did and praise her for showing her workings and showed her how writing her workings down had really paid off because I think she needs some positive associations with doing that in order for her to keep doing it. So I made a point of showing it to her and... Uh, praising it for that. So anyway, yes, I've got more to mark now. <laughs> I just turned over the last page of maths and it looks like I clipped her history work from yesterday to it by mistake, so that was funny. She's <laughs> left me a little note on it as well for some reason. Good. Is that one done as well? I'll just do that so I know where I am. Mm. 
wider world. Just following that history that ended up clipped to the math sheet. And while she's finishing the rest of her maths and having a break, I'm going to tackle this lot. <laughs> oh, Isabel, is that your stomach? Yes. No, it was, it's because this is on the way. Isabel is too hungry to not have lunch yet, so she's having lunch. She's having a toasty, and I'm going to heat up leftovers from yesterday, which is ricey stuff. So biology's on hold until we've had lunch. I've washed up. Look. Look, that took me ages, that did. And I was listening to news well. broadcasts. At the time. And D-Man. And D-Man, yes. Free shout out, you're welcome. <laughs> his channel's Hissing Thoughts. He's been doing some pretty much daily uploads from New Zealand about his life in the lockdown. Somebody was having a birthday in lockdown on his episode that I just watched, which isn't his most recent actually. And they had a big birthday cake in the family with candles and they had all the relatives up on the screen on Zoom and they were all trying to sing happy birthday simultaneously. It didn't work out very well, but it was hilarious. And then D-Man and his family got to eat all the cake and everybody else that had been on the screen just got to look at it and not actually eat it. Is <laughs> he's going to have a, a lockdown birthday, presumably. Yeah. Mum thought that she was going to make the cake. No, no, I know Mum's baking abilities. Oh. Here's my beanie mush. It's smelling quite nice. The rice isn't very good, though. It was a cheap rice because I couldn't get basmati. I've only got easy cooked white rice and it's really bland by comparison, unfortunately. But I'm not complaining. I'm grateful to have any at all. And I've added soy sauce, lemon juice and chilli flakes to this which will certainly make it more interesting. It's about half past three now and I'm just standing on a chair to show you our post-science carnage. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing this, biological molecules, but we've been going completely off topic and looking at the other elements too, using this book that I mentioned yesterday and this book that I also mentioned yesterday. There are links to those in the description of the previous video on this channel. Admittedly now, we really do need to get back on topic. I'll do it tomorrow. I see, meanwhile, finished sharpieing all over the highlighter pen tin. That's stuck on, by the way. I stuck that on ages ago. She decided the sharpies were inferior, so she's got all her pro marker pens down, and she made a start on this colouring sheet. Funny looking colouring book, isn't it? It's all um, it's colouring by numbers. Look, Did you get the number guide there. I bought her this book in Portugal years ago. It was quite expensive, but I was feeling guilty because I was having to drag her out to a late gig. Oh, there's a cityscape she did years ago with colouring pencils. Most of the ones she's done, she's removed. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a turtle. That's nice. They've got perforated edges, you see, so you could theoretically remove them like a poster. I'm going to have a quick tidy up in here, and then I'm going to get some stuff out in the kitchen, just Angel Delight and Jelly, that's all. So our plan is now that Izzy's going to make those up with my involvement, and then we're going to go out for a walk. We haven't been out since... Thursday, possibly Thursday, it's now Tuesday, we're climbing the walls, <laughs> so we're going to go out. Izzy really wants to go to the park on scooters again. Just waiting for Izzy to be ready, looking out my window here. The amount of people I see spitting through my window is horrendous. Don't you know there's a pandemic on you spitters? People are just like gobbing, it's young men basically got the kettle on for the jelly. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this right before serving it, but well, we'll just put it in the fridge to be honest. Oh, I can use my Ikea Pyrex bowls with lids to store it, can't I? Might be nice. And the jelly too. Yes. I love these. Had them for Christmas from IB, didn't I, Izzy? Yes. Hello, Izzy. Hi. Rummage, rummage. Just put that over there for now. 300 millilitres. Well, it's not far off what's in a can of Coke. Looks like a nice quick. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? How's it smell? Coming from a sniff. I did this in the last one, didn't I? It's obviously something I do. Oh yeah, that smells, oh, that smells really fresh and sweet and strawberry-ish. Get over it. I want to go with that hand whisk as well. 
I presume that hand whisk is suitable, but if it isn't, we'll soon find out. Is it getting light and clean? No, flex. Is it on the way? No, but it's really fun and it was, I'm getting treated to the most incredible smell. While mum is having fun with the whisk, I'm gonna start on the jelly. It's got nice and thick now. I haven't done Angel of Delight. I think I might have done it once in my whole life, to be honest. Right, watch your hand with the boiling water. Gosh, that's a lot. How much does it want? One and a half pints. Oh, okay. What well, I'll check again. Oh, no, this is half a pint. When you tip that, remember steam can come up and burn you, so. Oh, look at that lovely jelly. I think we're probably going to eat the Angel Delight before we go out for our scoot, aren't we? We want to have it while it's nice and fresh. It's already dissolved. Yeah. Quite a bit. Not fully, obviously. I got this from the Happy Shop the other day and I washed it up when I got in. And I was washing it with hot water and I thought, oh, <laughs> we're starting to melt the jelly inside the packet. It looked alright when it came out, though. She's adding half a pint of cold water now. It's a lot of jelly. Mm, I know that keeps us going for a couple of days, I think. Or well, one day in my case. <laughs> oh no. Look at this decadence. Look, I'm having glass A cherries on mine. Izzy doesn't like glass A cherries. What? They're too sugary. The thing is that I don't want it to be full of sugar because then you, you end up only tasting sugar instead of tasting them separately. Well, that's not a bad pre-going out snack. Not very healthy. Kind Probably of. like 500 calories. But now at least you can say you've made Angel Delight. I've gobbled mine up. That was very nice, but the glacé cherries did not work because they were too intense a flavour. And as Isabel pointed out, as soon as you'd tasted something stronger, you couldn't appreciate the subtle taste of the Angel Delight. Izzy says she remembers having this before. When did you have it? When I went to school. So pre-age six then, presumably. Mm -hmm. That's the last time you've had it, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I remember it was the highlight of my week. <laughs> so we're off for a quick scoot to the park and around the park and back from the park now. The daffs are out, it's a beautiful sunny day. I've just managed to lose Izzy. We scooted off down this hill. I told her to go first and she shot off ahead and I think she forked off to the right and I forked off to the left, but I'm sure she's gonna come around this way any minute, so I'm just gonna stay put. Izzy's had enough now, she wants to go back. This bit's fun. park I'm all hot and sweaty now <laughs> after vigorously scooting there were lots of really fun downhill bits but there were also lots of not so fun uphill bits so I think I did get my exercise in yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye